Entitlement is destructive. Entitlement has really destroyed the fabrics of our nation, especially among young chaps. It's a long chain of cankerworm that has incapacitated the minds of people. It's deeply rooted in the belief that people owe me stuff. This damaging belief system has created the ideology of the blame game. When people fail, they immediately look out for people or things to pass blame on as a reason for their failure. The subject of entitlement is an old thingy. Here are some relatable examples to illustrate what I'm talking about. I am the first born, so all my family responsibilities will be pushed to me when I start earning some income. My wife is supposed to get my food ready before I return from work because it is her sole responsibility as the woman. Everyone is making a fixed annual due payment of 15,000 naira in my department in church, but my own due is 200,000 naira because I work in a multinational so I can afford it. After serving lunch to my auto technician on a few occasions when he visits my residence for repairs, he automatically thinks that every visit to my residence must be accompanied with lunch. Hailing me senior man, chairman, automatically makes me your cash cow. I am the wealthiest in my hometown, so my wealth must get to every family in my hometown. I just returned from Venice from my usual yearly vacation, and some random folks believe that I must have something for the boys. <laughs> the job is mine because I'm a first-class graduate, even when I clearly do not have the appropriate skill set needed for the job. We played street football together as young stars, so you automatically owe me a spot on your cabinet as the governor, even when you clearly do not qualify for such position. My money has become your money because we are from the same kindred. Examples are inexhaustive, and I'm sure you can well relate with some of them. Entitlement starts at the mind level and then transitions into a behavioral pattern which creates a certain outcome within your life. When you consciously believe that people owe you stuff, you may eventually suspend your creative energy and switch into dependency. Entitlement has crippled the operational system in Africa. If we must raise a new cadre of forward-thinking, progressive millennials and Gen Zs, we must get to the root cause and begin to deal with the subject of entitlement. If we must create meaningful success, we must begin to unpack the mentality of entitlement from our operating system. The moment you come to terms with the ideology that no one owes you absolutely nothing, that is when your real freedom begins. Absolutely. Wow, wow. I think I want Ejimai to respond <laughs> first. first. Ladies first. Ladies first. So she's the only <laughs> lady in the room. So Ejimai, what do you have to say about this? Wow, um, I like this topic actually. Entitlement. Um, for me, I'm going to approach it from a balanced angle. Yes, you're so right. You're so on point with the fact that we back home, we believe that you owe me this, you owe me that. You must tip me because I've opened the door for you. Uh, well, you earn a little more than I do. Mm -hmm. So you have an obligation to give me a little this and give me a little that. Mm -hmm. While I frown on it completely, I don't want us to lose um, the um, fact that mm -hmm. in Africa as a whole, there's poverty and there is um, a wide disparity between the rich and the poor. And it might actually explain why people have this sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. I must say, um, I must explain that in totality. Because where you know that you can earn a living, make the barest minimum, send your children to school, have food on your table, and you're out of work yesterday, you can get to work today. Mm then you won't have to rely on somebody else to help you pick up the pieces in your life. And I want to also believe to a large degree that humans will not ordinarily want to be beggars or want to live off another person. Mm. And so we must be very careful when we look at this word called entitlement, if, particularly from the Nigerian and African perspective. I agree. Here is a different ball game. If you ask me for something, I can tell you there's a job, you can pick it up and do it in the next one hour, make mm. 20 pounds. Get food on the table. If you need somewhere to live for a week, I'm ready to host you. But I know that if you work for 10 hours a day for five days, at the end of the week, you'll be able to get a room and sleep. You'll be mm. able to get food on your table, buy warm clothes. You can go to a charity shop, get cheap things, and get a life for yourself. 
So here, the sense of entitlement is not so high. But we must be very careful at home if we begin to preach this, this policy. Mm. There's a huge gap between the rich and the poor at home. Mm. And so sometimes in the neighborhood, you're the only one that has a job. You're the only one that can even get a job. So when people rely on you, we have to also be careful, you know. But at the end of the day, we must find the balance before we criticize entitlement at home. Absolutely, so I mean, the yeah. balance. Oh, yeah. is There's a thin line. Yeah, yeah. Thing line because thing. I'm, you, you must, you know, to be to be very candid with you. Okay. I, I think that some of it. I mean, it's not all poverty. Some people that, that have money and are still entitled. Yeah, so it's sense. not really a poverty. Yeah. It's a yeah. thing. But I think that it, it came from a good place. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. In Africa and Nigeria, we're very familiar. Right, we're very common now. You know, growing up, you know, you, your neighbors, you're eating, you have this big bowl of food, everybody yeah, comes and eats. We share together. We share together. We're very, you know, we're very common and very familiar. So for that reason, there's a sense where you feel, oh, if your neighbor has, then it's yours. You mm -hmm. know, if, if you have, then it's yours. But hey, the world has moved on from those kind of I'm things. So yeah. on one hand, which is why I said, that, which is why I agree that the balance is important. On one hand, it's important to know that, you know, what is mine is mine, what is yours is yours. Mm. And then if I give it to you, it's because you have earned it, mm. or I feel like giving it to you. Mm. When you start to feel as if you feel wrong because I don't give it to you, that's when there's a problem. Mm. I mean, you have a right to ask me, and I have a right to say no. It's that simple. That's where the balance is. That's where the balance is. I have is. a right to ask, mm. and I have a right to say no. And if yeah. you say no, I have a right to walk away and not feel disgruntled. But it's not the exactly. same. It's not the same. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, because every time you travel, if you go abroad, the airports everywhere. I mean, everybody what, just what feels like they're, they they're just some, something that you've earned, mm. right? Because they feel like you probably earn more than them. But I just think it's totally wrong. Yeah. I personally attack that thing. I attack it every time. Mm. Every time I attack it. There's an extreme. And yeah, there's just yeah. an extreme to it that makes people stand. And, and it hasn't the probability to make people lazy. Very you know, true. If you're not careful, Very you can just enable these people and then you just find that they become lazy because you've said, oh, you know, it's poverty or this. I mean, some people are poor and they've, they they walked their way up to, you know, out of poverty. Exactly. So it's not every time we'll say, oh, you know, we have to be careful to look at those things and, you know, achieve a balance. Mm. So, I mean, well, the truth is, even if you are poor, like even if someone, I don't want to use you, but say, <laughs> no, <I'm using laughs> you. even if someone thinks he is poor because yeah, he cannot right. afford three square me, mm. please don't believe you are poor. Mm. Just do something. Mm -hmm. Now, this let me stretch your examples. Election is coming, 2023. Any person that comes to campaign, you must buy sorts and rice, mm -hmm. bag of rice, bag of sorts. And this is uh, uh, corruption breeders. If you go to the bank to deposit funds in the bank, they open door for you. You know, you know what you have to means. tip them like and it's, that's your it's, job. It's quite embarrassing. A, a rich man is paying his tax. Mm -hmm. The government did not fix the road and he's driving road to his house. Why this organ no fix this road? That's mm -hmm. what everyone is saying. Because mm -hmm. he's a rich man, he can fix the road for us. Mm -hmm. But he's paying his tax now. Mm -hmm. If he likes to fix it, <laughs> why not to go and hold the government responsible? Is it is he a rich man? Mm -hmm. So this entitlement thing is just a, it's, it's an abuse form of communal living, like you said. Mm -hmm. If purpose of a thing is not understood, it's abused. It's, it's in we have moved beyond communal living, even though it's good to be a good neighbor, yes. but everybody should just be responsible for whatever they Absolutely. want. Yeah. Not, but although, although not, not, not being said, if you, if you have excess to give, even if you don't have to give, I always encourage people to give genuinely and also help people that really need it. Do that with a good heart, not because of you are trying to campaign mm. or converse for something. Do mm. it. Don't assume that, okay, because I help you. Therefore, I'm entitled to these people coming to worship me like a mini god. Mm. That one is wrong. Mm. So we get the balance. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's a game of um, expectation management. I mean, listening to it again and all the conversations, I think for me it's <coughs> expectation management. People need to, I think the last line of your thoughts, you said something about um, doing something and expecting nothing. Mm. That exactly. requires a great deal of maturity, mm. a great deal of orientation. Right, so right. if I go back again to the previous conversation, the value sy system needs to, there needs to be a new launch of values mm. because like Tolu said, it is almost becoming a right. Mm. You can you can walk through the gates in the airports without, ah. and you know you get all those pleasantries, <laughs> and the well, moment it is it's clear that you are not ready to, you will get a totally different the switch. I, 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 it's, and it's, exactly. it's almost as though it's a right. They've earned those cuts. See, were just just to 
yeah. get something out of you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So <laughs> I think we need to we need to revisit the value system. Those things need to be thought again. It should go back again into the music that the children are thought in school. And then as adults, is that place of managing expectations? That's sure. they, they really don't owe me anything if yeah. we look at it. If you look but at it's it. a tough. It's a tough. Thing to really I mean, fix look, it. Look, it looking at the economic situation. One important of one Nigeria. I like to add mm. if I travel to Canada, I must hammer. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I go yeah. to Canada, I must hammer. I must go to UK I before I hammer. You'll be a lizard in Nigeria. You'll be a lizard in America. Exactly. You're not going to become an alligator in America. Exactly. Right? So your values <laughs> so I will define who you are. Yeah, right? I mean, and, I mean, just look at it, a simple example of tips, for instance. You go to a restaurant, right? Abroad, it's almost a rule. It's like an unspoken rule yeah, to actually. give a percentage of what you what exactly. you spend, yeah. right? And mm. they, they expect it. But if you don't do it, they won't look at you funny. So, so, okay, but, Ejima, is, is that the actually. reality in the UK? Is that, no, no, no. You, most, you, you, you should different. do it, actually. Yeah, absolutely. You should, should do it. Rule, yeah, if yeah. you eat abroad, yeah, anyway, it's, yeah, UK anywhere. If you eat abroad, what's the rationale? It's an, an unspoken rule. No, so uh, it's, uh, it's, sometimes it's five percent or ten percent. Yeah, yeah. it's a form of kindness. Don't do it. Nobody's going to hold. Nobody's going to hold you responsible but here so you should do it actually if you don't do it you should do it if you don't you do know. it it shows that you're ill-mannered mm. well but if you can't yes, afford so it i mean it's not the, it's a not, it's not, illegal, like, not to do it yeah it's not a must yeah. to do it so if you don't have the money for it, if you want to do it, it's a different thing but here if you don't you do it you, you, have, have, this man, the this thing, you will suddenly not have it's an unspoken rule imagine if somebody is describing you as ill-mannered you should that's a huge thing Oh, she's he, he, so it's like it's not compulsory. They won't tell you it's compulsory, but because they know they would expect that you're well brought up, you have yeah. good manners, then you should do the right thing, which is to tip. So, Victor. Great. So, I mean, it's really important that you know we we draw the thin line. But however, I believe personally that no single person you know that has succeeded tremendously you know, has been built around that um, mindset of being entitled and believing that somebody somewhere owes me stuff. So um, stick around. Ejimai is up next after the break. <laughs> 